Hi again, this is Kimberly Jackson. I'm the web team captain for the UHLIS web team, and today I'm going to show you how to get started using Fugu. So if you have uh, already activated your student uh, portal, you would do so by going to the Hawaii ITS page, go to manage your UH username. From here, you'd sign in using your UH information, create a home page, and you can find your link. Now, 100% of the time, this is what's going to happen, is if you're not sure of what your UH portal or personal home page is, uh, the, UH of, uh, the UHM system actually offers free personal home pages to all of its students that they can use. Uh, there are very strict rules about what you can put on there. For example, you can't use it for legal activity, you can't sell anything on it, and you also can't use it for pornographic images or materials. So you can use it, though, for your student portfolio, which is very helpful. And 100% of the time, it's going to look like this. So your username is going to be in that section. So if your username is Sandra Bullock, that's what it's going to look like. But since mine is KMJ2, this is what mine looks like. I actually just put this message here because I wanted it to go to my personal portfolio page that I created using um, WordPress. Okay, so again, you would go to your um, UH username account and make sure you have one. If you haven't created a personal home page, it takes you through the steps. It's very, very easy. All right, once you've done that, you want to, if you haven't already downloaded Fugu, you would go to Google and type in UHM Fugu, and it'll find this link for you here. You want to download it, and then once you've downloaded it, follow the, the video tutorial that I've already created for downloading Fugu, and then you'll go to this step here, which shows you a dialog box. It gives you the HTTP to use to connect, and some basic information, like you're going to need your UH username, your password, and uh, the type of port. So let's just copy this for now. So we're copying that. And go into your Applications folder and find Fugu, because by then you should have already downloaded it. It's going to take you to this main connection page. As you can see here, localhost is not connected. Uh, I am connected to the internet, as you can see here, and you will need to be connected in order to use this. And you just paste that link, that HTTP, HTTP portal link in order to connect. Under username, again you're going to have to use your UH username. This is specifically only the front part of your email address. Do not use the at hawaii.edu. It will not work. You click connect and because mine's already been used several times it doesn't ask for a password. It remembers the password but you will have to type in your password. Your password is going to be your email password. So whatever you use to get into your uh, hawaii.edu email is what you're going to be entering there. And once you enter it, it's going to ask, do you want to remember it? We have to remember this chain of commands. And you say yes. You, you want your computer, as long as you're using a computer that's personal computer, you want it to remember it. Now, on the left-hand side are all of your all your files on your home computer, so it's locally saved. On the right-hand side, it's all the files for your ePortfolio or for your student personal page, and it's all remotely saved. So if you want to create a folder, you can see here there's going to be a locally and remotely option. So if I want to save locally, it's going to save to the left-hand side because it's on my computer. And if I want to create a folder in the uh, web space, I'm going to do that remotely. And you can see it saves there. Now, if you want to go to a specific folder, you can type it here. Don't want to do that though. If I want to reload it, basically it's just refreshing the files for me. So maybe I've done a lot of work and I want to see what the most recent version is. I can do that. You can also click to sort by different ways. So date, time, name. Uh, if you want to get the info for a particular file or folder, so for example, I'm going to click on this test file here. Um, actually, no, let's click on one that actually has gigabytes. So on my index file, I'm going to click on it once and click info. And you can see all of the permissions, you can see the chain of command of where it lies in my uh, directory, the size, the date that it was created, everything. Just cancel out of that. What you can also do to get info is just right click on the item and get info. 
And as you can see, there's a lot of options. Edit with text editor, preview, rename, download, download, secure copy, and delete. Now, you can delete everything here on your student space um, by just right-clicking and delete. You can also just click once and delete, so with your actual keyboard. Um, but if you try to delete a folder, it won't let you do it unless you first delete all of the content. So you have to delete the content, delete the folder, delete the folder. All right, and also it can show you your history for both your remote side and your local side, what kind of work you've done. And lastly, here's the area where you disconnect. So basically the way this is used is locally, so at home on your computer, you create some HTML files. You want to actually post those files on the internet because you want people to see them. You want people to access your personal page. Uh, so in order to do that, you have to have some active server space. And luckily for you, the university offers server space for free. So what you do is you take your HTML file and you just drag and drop. And once it's there, it'll show up on the internet. You just have to know your extension. So for example, the way that I've set mine up is everything's under these public folders. You will automatically have a public folder in your uh, student space. So once you get there, you're going to see public underscore HTML. The reason for that is if you don't save everything to that public folder, it's not going to show up on the internet because it's going to be protected. So you want it to be saved to this public folder because you want people to see your page. So for example, for my LIS 653, I had to create a website uh, for uh, a group project. And what you want to do is follow that logic path here. So this right here is what you want to copy. And copy that and then go to your to www.hawaii.edu tilde and then that's my page. Sorry, HTTPS Oh, goodness gracious. Can't remember where that two belongs. I think it's here. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. So https colon forward slash forward slash www2.hawaii.edu forward slash tilde your username. It's a lot of information, but don't be like me and just bookmark it. <laughs> I'm going to bookmark it now. Okay. So anything that falls after this link right here is going to be what's been saved on my student space. So I'm just going to paste what I copied, hit enter, and there's the website that I created. And anything that I saved is going to be on here. And all of these files are saved again in my folders for this particular site. So under 653, you can see 653 here, 653 there, and for spring 2013, spring 2013, DA, which stands for Downton Abbey, forward slash videos, and here's a video HTML. So anything you have saved here is going to link up, match up perfectly in your directory with what you have actually saved to your student account. Now, if you um, come across any issues with not being able to download anything, if you can't transfer it over from your local side to your remote side, it might be that you have used too much space already. And so what you need to do is go in and if you have anything extra, you delete those files and um, you know put in your new stuff. The first thing you should do before you delete though is make sure you copy from here to here. Okay, so um, you want to actually download, you want to copy anything that you've saved on your remote section. You don't want to just delete it because at some point in the future you might want to reuse it or you might want to repost it or whatever, but you'll have to make space to, for the new stuff. Okay, so uh, this just to disconnect, you just click on disconnect and it takes you right back to this, this uh, startup page and it shows that you're disconnected. You sign out and you're good to go. If you have any questions, you can email us at uhlisweb_team at gmail.com or you can check out our website at uhlisweb_team. .wordpress.com. Thank you.